Thank you, baby, for everything. like to have found one of those remote control vibrators as well. has become <clears throat> unlocked. It's Sunday, not Wednesday. <laughs> All right, let's beat this guy. This kicks butt. I thought you said I wasn't going in insomnia. You're not in insomnia. You're awake. This is real life. Damn it. I don't think you can release yourself. Well, do something about it. What is it you expect me? Come out of my eye socket and get this off. I cannot. Why not? My body has short circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah. But fortunately, my communication function. I attempted to reach HQ in a. And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher ups. I was left on red, Dante. Interference. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. Hey, handsome. You're Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the ground, without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now? You used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. How do I know that? The current. Did it unlock your memories? Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. That means your body... This is your body, isn't it, Saito? The words came out easily. I don't know why. But in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. Number 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. Hey, how about a little help here? What? <laughs> Every time I play this, I discover something new.
again. Andrew, you hanging in there? Oh. I was going to say worse. Like a cockroach comes out of you. Come out of his eye and Iva gets real excited. And goes, don't, don't dance. That's it. A cockroach. Don't worry, I haven't killed them yet. Yet? The brain oh, wait, you are currently you occupying has an girl. interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. What should I say? <laughs> Do you have any questions for me? It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? I decided to ask him what he did every day until now. Saito explained what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to this abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. Taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. So that's when Shoko died. No, that's, that's when, when Renju, Renju died. died. Renju's been dead the whole game. Mm -hmm. But as he explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. I felt like it was being etched into my brain. The horse looked hungry, so I fed it a snack. Nom, oh, nom, nom. right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. The merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. But why? I was still in Renju's body. Because you didn't want to take My it with My next him. target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscade. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Date, do you remember? Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki, inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m. Right before Renju called Iris, you told her. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her... She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would try... However... You got in an accident around 6.10 p.m. and lost consciousness. Ah, <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined. But my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. 
I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his... He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you, but when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. So it was only lucky that she got, he got in a car accident. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? Oh yeah, this is when Peter's an asshole. Mm -hmm. Because Renji was alive. When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you while you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. Kinky. I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about. But I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was complete. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive. But I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them, but they had already been paid good money, so I decided to leave the arrangements as they were, and then... Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own, without consulting me. So what, what did Pewter do? Uh... So Peter takes Iris to the cold storage warehouse and holds her there. Um, oh yeah, that's where we did the shootout mm -hmm. and had to get her. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, in this timeline, I, I don't Iris think we see about 24 hours ago. Yeah. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m., I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. Que I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. You found him! It's me! That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the... You, Date. Me. Number 89's current body was originally your... After Iris got why? into the car, I put her to I don't know, think I've ever done anything trustworthy in my life. I restrained her and called to Tomi. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. I've only ever been happy when I pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me, and she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one. I... My mom died giving birth to me. So naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. Sometimes I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things... Maybe the murder six years ago never would have happened. Me. You, Rohan, maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shokonodami never... Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Sorry, I don't have anything else to say. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of... So... Shall we get give me my body back? <laughs> what a strange fake eye. Oh well. It's ready.
like that puppy on out. Ugh. It damaged his body. Dude, that's my fucking body. I mean, he's gonna pl kill us anyway, so I don't think he cares. How did they switch the first time without him ripping the eyeball out? That's a good question. This is a sink room. Uh oh. Fuck. That was. Damn it, why can't I wake up? This doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. Oh god, it doesn't tell you. Okay, that's two. Three. Four. Everything's all fucky. Ugh. Is that five? Synced. Now you're finding out what it feels like from the other end. Ah! Do I do I actually move? Mm-hmm. So I gotta stop him. Time does not go down when you move in this one. Oh, okay. So you literally cannot fail this one. Sink? No good. I can... Is this? Go to the sink room. They said it doesn't go down.
again. Door. This wasn't here before. Convenient. Oh no, Iris and had told me. My family. Help me! And I guess Mizuki. Help me! <laughs> I like the take on that. He's like, no, help me! Surprised you didn't have a picture of Mizuki. God, the voice actor must have had a lot of fun. <laughs> the voice acting in this game is so good. Touch, I get this feeling. It's just a mirror. Unless. <laughs> Put it in the mirror. <sighs> Damn it. to regain her body. I'm sinking. Yeah, I would hope so. That's the whole point. No, oh, well, the other way around, I guess. Mm -hmm. I can't stop it. What are you thinking about? Oh. 
What do I do? Run, Date, run! I'm glad we started the day with an acid trip. Mm -hmm. A really bad trip. What is this? Yeah. You, you were caught crossing the border like that thief over there. <laughs> Where am I? I would have been back in Hammerfield if it wasn't for you, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I did it! Oh, this feeling! I'm back. I got it all back! This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. I think I'll keep it. Meanwhile, nom nom nom! Oh man, and you kept my eye safe this whole time just for you to rip it out right at the end. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. Oh, did he put Ivo in the package? Yeah. Mm. Oh, but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill, so I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their... F you should be honored. Before, uh, that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. It was a fragment of my memory, lost all those years ago. A piece of my past, buried deep in my subconscious. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Man, I can't 
Panic and win. I win! I win! Dream. Yay! It's a dream. It's a memory. Now you have to take the penalty. Up, up, side to side. Up, down, pinch. <laughs> Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? See that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. And the goddess of rainbows, too. That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good news. Hey, Uncle. You met Mommy at this shrine, right? Yeah, I was even wearing the same suit. <laughs> I only have one set of clothes. We all do. Hitomi's been wearing the same... <laughs> sweater for 12 years. When am I gonna hear good news from you two? What? When will huh? Uncle be my dad? <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. Every day? But tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. <laughs> but fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then, my answer is yes. We are gonna live together. Shit. So, you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one final job I want you to do. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. Should be simple, no? This is... You got it. 
I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. Are those business days or, uh, you know, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> I see. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. Truth is, Boss and I were both in the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new Investigation Department, Abyss? I was put in command there. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does ha You can technically use it to swap body. Swap body? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, Chairman of the Kuma... Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and I. What about Rohan? Won't he... Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? Yeah, but Rohan's body? All right. Leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. Uh-oh. What's that? That's his name. Boss, how did you bring in- I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine, because he's about to switch bodies. Alright, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes, right? We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. Seriously, how does he not damage the eye with these? This one I can understand if he's going like through here. Ah. Because it's only going to blow back this way. You're... It's... 
me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate. Huh? What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Ro- Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the- <laughs> Yeah, you idiots. Did I do something? No, don't tell me. That's what this was. Oh, hello. What are you doing here at this hour? You noticed something when this scene happened in the other Such timeline, though. Eyes. What? Oh, stop. You're what always bothering me. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll um, let the scene play come out. Come on in. I'll First time you see this tea. scene, it seems like Boss is the one on the wrong end of it oh yeah he's, he's you know so yeah you time. noticed last time that he already had his gun out and was pointing at hitomi no stop so that was us <laughs> we shot hitomi that's why we dreamed about it first day no Stop right there! <sighs> Boss, why don't you let them in first? use of her right arm, right, right hand, thanks to the bullet I fired from my own gun. I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. And I left all my memories with her. visited the Kumakura building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir! Oh, is this why the brother became obsessed with... Or is he just a big ASAP fan? No. Yeah. Um. No, it just happens to be an ASAP fan. By boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops' murders. 
As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. So I went to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said, I want to meet Saito into the intercom. After a while, the gate opened and Saito himself welcomed me. Hey, that looks better than usual. Look at this dapper little fuck. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The f Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's a very old fe- But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it- So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica, and my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you that- You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea was... Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect, that you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those... You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their fi And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me, anyway. Hey, Saito. Could you come with me for- Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? The police station? Suddenly, bodyguards blow. They surrounded me before I could react. You want me to stop reading? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Hey boss, I need some backup. You'll said backup, right? You're not gonna be out in the town tonight, or? Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you did. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. You got into that body with the sink machine. Fascinating. I'm. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba? You there. Why don't you go and fetch it for him? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Well, it looks like preparations are... Let's say you and I get started. Doesn't even hesitate. Yeah, because he doesn't care. He doesn't know that other people... Are well, we can right. still feel pain, Let's go. right? I mean, he can't feel. He has a serotonin deficiency, so. It... He likes the pain, you know. <laughs> and we don't really know what happens here, but something went wrong. <sighs> Hi. Alright, bye.
What are you doing? Follow him! Yeah, he lost his memory. And his eyeball. Yeah, he wasn't very smart the first time he did this, because he had probably been beating Rohan's body for a couple days, and then so switched maybe he right into maybe it. Maybe he couldn't feel pain. That was his first time feeling pain. Yeah. I was forcibly disconnected during the sink. Such as mine overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to, but I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. It felt like reality itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost, like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me, walking under the city lights. When I regained my faculties, I found I was in Golden Yokocho. My wandering with no destination in mind was interrupted by a woman. Your... Saito Sejima? Hmm. I guess not. Uh, huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so we lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Oh, he was beating him for a whole week. Hmm, yeah. <sighs> just as I thought. You've lost your memory. Alright. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. To where Awfully you belong. Awfully arrogant of you, boss. I've only been conscious for five minutes and you're giving me a job. Thanks, capitalism. I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member what of a base. the name and date? The team I Name date. Is that a fucking joke? <laughs> What's the... Kaname date is uh it's a it's a pun. So Yeah, what's the pun? Name, date, and uh name in Japanese I believe is Kaname. Oh, so name date. Yeah. So it, it it's a double pun. <laughs> you want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one. Never mind. So was Saito? Or actually, sorry, I've got the I've found something here. Um, Kanami date. Kanami means key, but it's not a reading of this kanji. It's a reading of something else, which also means key. But the former refers to a physical key, while the latter refers to a metaphorical key as the, in the key to a mystery. As Ah, uh, yeah. That makes sense. So, so, so he's literally a key. Like, he unlocks nice. dreams. Date is... Uh, uh, as confirmed by Yoshikoshi, is a reference to Masamune Date, a Edo period ruler known for having one eye. Date also has two separate meanings that may both have relevance. The first is sophistication and having style and, like, look at him. <laughs> the, sex is, the second is affection or possibly or doing something for show. Possibly alluding to the fact that Konami Date is a fake name. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. So what's my new name? Konami Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Iba's Date. name, though, is a super pun. Yeah. It's, like, it? it's, like a quad, it's like a quadruple nice pun. To meet it's you, short for AI ball. It sounds like eyeball. It stands for artificial intelligence ball. Uh, I, AI, or in Japanese, love, ball, literally full of love, or oxytocin. Mm -hmm. So she provides him with oxytocin. And then Iba, also the word for partner. Wow. Yeah. I chose the perfect name. Iris is, like, she's got three different names, so her whole list is, like, twice the size of that, even, she's so. She's got three. 
Yeah, she, she, Iris, she's referred Aset. to as Iris Argon, Aset, and Tessa. Tessa, that's right. Yeah. Meet your partner. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, fact, this Iris is your Iris and Alice are only one Kana apart, hence Iva suggesting the name for Monica. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. But this still doesn't explain why I'm such a perb. You How are you perb. feeling? Oh. Your head clearing up? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. You would know more about that than me, or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't... It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine. A police... I don't think the public would react kindly to that. If the heads would roll. Departments would... So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the... Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist and falco the anonymous assassin was where he was known as number 89 fitting for a man with no name what are you doing follow him After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring his own. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However, prosecution tried to get him on premeditated. It was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Right there. <sighs> Six years ago, Rohan in Falco's body visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless mur- The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. Eh. <coughs> I was doing backflips and shit. But I couldn't move. Oh yeah, he has my gun. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. 
die before these two are at- I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one what So, what I'll give you to the count of three. Iba, shock him! She can't. Hmm? She was shocked, so she can't do anything. One. Two. Three. No, wait! Man, no hesitation there. Damn. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Iba told me about it. Uh, it was weird. It was kind of like... Iba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but... but uh, take this. Take my gun. Do it! Tessa and her mom are in date, please. Say... Thank you, Iba. Fucking yeah, Moma! Iba! She said she said her uh, communications were still up, so I mean, yeah. and I take it she can do it without the brain knowing. Yeah. I found Iris. Iris. Date, do you like fireworks? I'm not really a big fan. <laughs> it's a first person shooter now. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into human lives are the same, are they not? At Damn it. I can't get him on my sex. I can't, can't get him aim with my one eye. eye. Blooming. Scattering, and it's only a single moment. A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It shows. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering. It's art. Perfect. Don't blink. I want this to burn into, well, the one you have left. Damn it! What do I, what do I do? Toria! This is for leaving me! Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think? And I'm here too. I'm here to help. This is for not hanging out with me. This is for eating my pudding cup. Ah! <laughs> you know, 40, 40 armed guards that were uh, given the uh, mercenary training. Nah, I can't hit her. Saito, after getting his, the shit kicked out of him, can shoot her. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect aiming. Sure, your kid into a bunch of boxes. Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? How do you lose a person? <laughs> Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito.
really bothering me. Oh yeah, go ahead. It's really bothering me. For red, and then I got my, I got my barge. I'm cool. It's really you, right? Yep, just one eye short of your full uncle. Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and his. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Fuck you, by the way. How's your foot, I'm asshole? fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my My mom. Now that you gotta talk to them all. Finish out their dialogues. Right now I need Uh, look up. Uh, I found him. Nat. Dante. It told me. It told me. I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat you all want to see, don't you? <laughs> oh. <gasps> so you don't want to see? Fine. Date, I promise I'll put the fireworks on. I'll even release. He's lying, Dot. Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Dot. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous... Date... You want to shoot me. Is that then do it? But you only get one sh You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will- And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. Can I- can I miss? Or will I have to do everything all over again? Yeah, yeah. What the- <sighs> Well done. However, you aren't. You have to throw your gun down. You have one. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll... Let's begin. Ready? 59. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. Aiba. Date, I do not have much time. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric sh However... Huh? Self-destruct. Oh. <laughs> the look Let on us your determine face, though. Command 41205. If you issue this command... I will no, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. I'm speaking to you using 
only local data. Then... It... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Say it, Date. Six. Date. Two. <laughs> you are even more of it. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps it? Now you get to see five. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will... <laughs> I can't believe you. Fortunately for you, you won't have long. Yes. Yeah, watch. Watch this woman. See her brain burn. I'm a... Can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. I know. Command four one two zero five. Okay. Doctor. I I. So tiny. Oh, I I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. What the? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Man, after all that work I I put into making my hair look great. Now I got scraggly black hair for the rest of my life. Jeez. And I'm old. And I'm older. Always been in your left eye. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Jealous? I couldn't be inside of your eye Thank socket. You so much, Uncle. No. Don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco, it is you, Falco, right? Oh yeah, this game's still bleeding. You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Dante, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. You don't have to click Sinker. Dramatic. Anyway, we should probably get everybody to the hospital. Yeah, Mizuki's been shot. Almost shot. You guys probably We're all traumatized. We need Traumat therapy. Especially also, me. Also, Mizuki's dad's in the other room. Also, Mizuki, your dad's over there. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. Zero friend rush. You know, if we had some I never thought you'd be an offering box thief. No no, you've got it. I swallowed a goldfish. 
I'm trying to get it out by swallowing some fish. Are you sure your brain is full? <laughs> I don't know if I like this voice. I miss the sassiness of the other. Uh, As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah. The nano machines went pew pew and bzz bzz and got rid of all the tumors. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? That's not exactly true. Boss didn't pay out of her pocket. There's a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her. Hitome, Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. Higher-ups were willing to do anything to keep it from getting up. Out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris' treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. I had <laughs> dreams somewhere. No, I uh, told you to fuck then off. Then I guess you're immortal. <laughs> We'll see 50 years from now. <laughs> Do people only you... live 50 years? Mm, 68, yeah. The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway. My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look, you're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's a rugged kind of hip. Because of the memories, I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I win, I win! Yay! By the way, I still don't have the- mm, What question? When am I gonna hear good news from you two? When will Uncle be my dad? I'll be your dad. You also have another sister. Everything wins. Everybody wins. Can't Pewter make a new libel? Well, let's get going. Yeah, but she's not going to have the same personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still have a lot of people. That's basically what they do in the second game. With the sexy Iva. <laughs> we lost sweet Iva, and now we now got we get mommy. Sexy. Yeah, we got mommy. We got mommy. We got mommy. We also have to get home. We lost the girl next door, but gained a mommy. The only thing I don't like about that character is that even the teddy bear form is like has like hair and boobs. The fuck? Yeah. Uh, hmm? I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but uh, they've forward. been doing a uh, couple of like little if Twitter you try. clips. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm. Ki but we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet, so let's go. It's a long ass date. <laughs> let's go see Mama. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> she has boobs. The fuck? <laughs> Where is my sweet little punchy? Pewter, why does this one have boobs? I'm gay, I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> Dante, honey. Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscate. A virgin? Hmm? 
I'm just saying, sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot. <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey, because I associate with fairies and am an older motherly woman. Who the fuck is that over there? Doc them, you'll find out. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. <laughs> You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? Alright, who wouldn't recognize this face? Doesn't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig long. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking. So I uh, punched him in the face. I don't want to go you. see so now. <laughs> I'm not. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding. Mama! Oops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. Uh, don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round. Yay! Yay. <laughs> He's so happy. He makes me. As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. Uh-huh. So wait, we told Mama about everything? You'll find out. Just keep talking to her. How can I, I see I, She's that? the Emperor Ormit, so she probably just got it. Just keep talking. It you will, want the game to? Will tell you. I do. I want to see. No. Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? This? It's not Bonito. Then what is it? It's just some fish. Part I of know. the man who cheated on me. Uh. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that. Saito Tsujima and his body are both gone forever. The body I was in for the past six years. But the head office would never admit that publicly. Because at the time, the body was thought to be that of Pit Detective Kaname Date. So they tweaked things a little bit and pinned everything on number 89 said that he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Konami Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it, but that's not the truth. Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. Now you know that There are me. a lot of things that don't quite add up. Date's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number... They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like... Yeah, that's awfully convenient. That's what happened, right? If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. <laughs> well... Well... Yeah, we should get going. We should head out. Leaving so soon? You shouldn't question the fact that, you know, um, my voice changed. Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information. For oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. <laughs>
No, I'm still missing things. Yeah, you gotta get like specific dialogue choices. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, let's look at the pictures. What are you? Your Sue play? <laughs> I'm a oh, full table. Boss. It finally went with the design. <laughs> I want you to be a little teddy bear with an eye. <laughs> uh, she almost walked around on all fours. She needs longer hair. No, I also mean the the eye one because it looks like a bunch of. Meat. It makes sense though because it sticks out the back. Like, where does all that go when it, she's in the eye? Mm -hmm. Like, no, 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 not the stuff that sticks out the back. That very first one. It makes it look like behind her is a brain. Mm. Well, if you think about it. <laughs> What's behind her is a brain, but I don't want to see it. Oh, is it, uh... So this is going to see everybody, yeah, so... I'm gonna go see him! I'm gonna see him... His face. First thing, yeah. I figured Mama would have, like... What everyone's been told. I left Iris in the car. I figured that she didn't want to see him. I parked the car a little ways down. She doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. Because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. It's never been incredibly clear how much So knows about this, but... Yeah, that's the whole reason that he was a cunt to us. That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. I just thought prison would because we had his son's face. Don't you know the law? No one, one can touch his lover me. right in front of him. But his biological blood. Mm -hmm. so Even though we both know you committed a us. crime. Indeed, eighteen, and I was not the one who killed Monica Ewi. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. So he's basically saying he's it's ridiculous. The... I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. Somewhere and live the rest of my days in... Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. <laughs> That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Cabas. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kum. Ah. As you know, my son Saito was at with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. 
Dad? I thought of a plan, a foolproof plan to make us rich. A chemical plant explosion to help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal... But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. Maybe if you'd actually gotten your son some fucking help. As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Too on the Friday show See, it goes products. down. It goes down to body. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense because your brain isn't down from your eye socket. Well, she's a robot. Maybe it moves. <laughs> Maybe it curls. <laughs> Do you recall the conversation we so had? So wait, since it's his left eye, does that mean it, Iba's tip curls to the right? Saying. That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. I can't say. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. At the time, Rohan was in the body of number 89. Maybe Rohan realized it was it when Shoko came to visit the prison. That was, that it was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what he meant by realized everything. Rohan needed to speak with Saito again. But he couldn't. Not from inside Fuchu Prison. Instead, he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he could get Saito to visit again. By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. What? No reason. <laughs> Six years ago, my mind was implanted in the body of Saito. Young and handsome. I now was, I'm just rugged and now handsome. Now I'm just handsome. <laughs> <laughs> So, Saito's father never even put out a missing persons report on his son. Why? Because of the woman you call boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole... Oh, that's how he knows. You know about the Cyclops serial killer? The culprit is your son, Saito. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise not... What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? 
I didn't have much of a choice. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed in my political sides. I never held much love for him, and she was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I very much doubt that. Yeah, <laughs> you're prop. I think he's the only character from this game that has not been confirmed to be at least featured in the next game. Oh, I damn. Mean, other than Saito and the non name I left Iris species. waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Okay, who do I want to see? I want to see all the useless people first. Okay. Oh, wow. You say that after he gave you his gun. Mizuki beat up an entire fleet Shante, army. Fleet. Let Not me tell timeline. you something. When Tessa was in the hospital, I prayed to the... And guess what? My prayers were God. Must have been listening. Are you crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you <laughs> for saving Tessa. <laughs> anyway, what, what are you? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa. Wait. I really wanted to see you. Oh, right. She was with us. Oh, well, well, in that case, yes, of course. Uh, I, I. Wait, did we not get a scene? Hey, Iris. Scene. About these lanterns. What scene? I think you missed a scene. Yeah. Somewhere. Is there anything a candle reminds you of? Is it a dick? You're ruining everything. Injury. Injury? You got shot through. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer, a but we were brothers. I can't be mad at him no matter how much he does. But I can't just forgive him. So I, was I figured, for a fuck bit. it. It's yeah, better to just forget head. about him. You want some of them? I think I have some of his memories. <laughs> like 1% of his memories. Wedding? Wedding. Dress. Bless. Imaging. Compress. Process. Crime. Redress. Transgress. Test. The Net Idol Super Tessa. They set you back. Wow! That's really cool. What did you do to these guys? Just a little propaganda. Sun up to sundown. I made him watch her. They got addicted. Oh no. T -t -t Tessa, I'm so honored to meet. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard. One. It's fine. It's just a handshake. Yes. Yes. That one ran up to her with a look of awe in his eye. Slowly so shook her sad. hand. Too much excitement, I guess. Doesn't... Mr. Kumakura? Of course I... About that ring. I won't give it to you. <laughs> you gonna be okay? The fat one. He fainted. Anyway, sorry to bother you, Moma. Dante, wait! Before you go! Oh boy, Eric. This is hard for me to get out, but... Uh, yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties? <gasps> I never asked for something! Then what do you want? Puff Puff! Uh, <gasps> I'm sorry? I want Tessa to... You know what I'm saying? Just 
shove my face in there. Just... Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine. Dante, you I think we did miss a scene then. All this right. is a three-part. Close your show. eyes. Yeah, yeah, like this? Good, yes. Do not open your eyes. Promise! <laughs> you ready? Yes! Okay. What, three? Someone else's ass. <laughs> Dante, I've never felt all these shitty years of my life. Uh, let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think we did miss a scene somewhere. So we got the first part of that joke, right? Where, uh... Yes, where, uh... He was like, oh, he was like I just want to give Tessa a handshake. And then when we go over, he's like, okay, Tessa... He wants to see your boobs. And he was like, <gasps> We got that scene, right? Yes. Okay, there's another scene that we missed somewhere. I don't know what happened, okay. how we missed it, but... Uh, it's possible I didn't, like, go back or, like, talk to Tessa or something. Yeah, we, we had a scene with the Kumakoras that uh, I guess just we just missed uh, talking with him. Um, he does it again, and he asks, and... Instead of a handshake, he's like, I want to see your panties now. And so, uh, and so we go over and, and we're like, fine. He wants to see your panties. Iris slaps us and he's like, she... No, wait, yes, we did. We did? When was it? We did it? get that one. I don't remember when, but I remember him, her slapping I us. I don't remember getting that scene with you. Maybe that was when I was cooking dinner or something. I think that was. Maybe. Okay, so yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for that to happen. I was like, wait a second, this is the end of the game. Where is that scene? All right, Sunfish Pocket, we gotta go see... Renju. <laughs> wait a second. See his secretary. Big mm. boob secretary. Hmm. I am seriously so happy for you, Tessa. It's thanks to you, Ota. If you didn't help me back then... No, really. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally respon- Oh yeah, stop jerking yourself off. I'm so glad this mermaid is, is back in the second game, though. You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part-time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Not you. <laughs> Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say that. Yeah, that's our word. <laughs> Ota told me. I kind of like this face. You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> wow. Did he get an upgraded spear? Or was he always gold? I think it was always gold. Okay. Yeah. Actually, maybe not. I've been doing I think good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor no, during the day, cool, and I remember writing at night. Cool. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Uh, I don't know. Really, though? I've got to be, like, in the top three. <laughs> what about kicking his ass, but I don't think it would take. Shadows. Make everybody do Tessa's catchphrase. Red, Fears. Upset. Water. Wet. Sweat. Eight. You bet! I can't believe you remembered that, Uncle. I'm so happy! I said most of it. Also, those three fa phases. I'm actually that you exhausted just used, I'm right now. I'm fairly certain those are the ones that you, you, you say in Ota's Song Man as well. Mm hmm. <laughs> but I can't look tired in front of Tess. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm alright. Your left eye. It's fake. I can't see anything out of it, and, and it doesn't talk. Huh? So, I be What a tragedy. Murray's like, uh, I'm missing something. Anyway, have some rest. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> I'm so glad we got your thing done first. I wanna kick you. Uh, 
that a tragedy? Yeah, yeah I'm real beaten, beat myself up over it. She was so cute. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I... you would not survive the attempt. <laughs> what do you mean? Elta, what are you seeing in front of Iris? <laughs> oh, Tessa, I was kidding. It's fine, I don't care. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't think that's what she means. Also, this mermaid's such a bro. It's like, dude, that's Iris. <laughs> I'm very... What is that? The sea king and a mermaid start eating the eel from both ends. When you finish eating, you're... it's a meal for perverts, basically. So far, no one's ever been... What? Oh, yeah, Japanese. Delicious omelet of rice. Are I going to talk to you again? Uh... Renji's body in there once. At one time, yeah. Another mermaid. What kind of chair, please? A rocky. Nope. The correct answer is a love seat. What? Will you marry me? No. Brothers or something? <laughs> Cut through, they look like brothers are sitting there. Alright, I'm done. Well, Ota. Aw, you're going already. I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll. you'll come. Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome! Stop by. In fact, we'll go right now! You knew exactly what I was gonna do! Yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, Mizuki's gonna be at Lemnus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tessa, your surgery went well. Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Hey, it's oh, the nurse. Oh, uh, I'm close friends with Ota. Is that right? Thank you for taking care. You're the nurse from Central Hot. Well, yeah. Have we met? Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medic. The pharmacist sent me. I belong to the Association of Nurse Act. I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end. I'm really happy about that. That's wonderful. What's your name? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. You're getting married? Yes. That is so wonderful. Thank you. She's getting married to the mob doctor. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, with the yellow hair that we were just uh, at. Mm -hmm. The skinny one. Mm -hmm. It's doing great thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. Mm. Mm. Visited her in the hospital. Oh, yeah, I remember. I 
was so charmed by her. Oh, stop! You're making me blush! I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. But now I'm... <laughs> Thank you! Ota? That boy Who's is Ota? a handful <laughs> of trouble. That's not true! Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time... Of course, 99 percent of the time. My boy, maybe I should give you a meal. On my yes, we should get a meal. Well, let's get going. To go. Hey, nurse, you want to come with me? Yeah. I'm not a nurse. Goodbye. I'm an actress playing a nurse. <laughs> but you just gave her medicine. Yeah, I was uh, the delivery person for the pharmacist. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Bye bye. Should <laughs> mm. I go see boss? Sure. Why not? Because I want to leave this for last. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. <laughs> There's an empty spot where she would be. I hate being in their Nile group chat. I'm not even. Pon poke pon. Pon poke pon. Pon poke pon. Pon poke pon. Would you two cut it out? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I got it. I got to click on everything. Yeah, these two together is a situation we don't get oh, very often. Haven't heard. Starting next year, that's going to be the official flag of Japan. Wow, real. <laughs> she does not believe her. Is it your birthday? No, that's been in here forever. <sighs> Every day is like. Wow, then you must be really. I'm gonna uh -oh. take that. <laughs> I'm gonna take, take that down. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I love you, Ira. That's my jack o' lantern. What if his name was Bill? <gasps> she did Bill a joke! Stuff in it. Not yet. <laughs> hey, Iris. Date was a soccer ball in his past life. That's why he enjoys getting kicked over. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> Volleyball. Volley reminds me of Valley. Like, cle isn't it kind of dirty? No, it isn't. There's nothing dirty about volleyball. Don't get mad at me. There's nothing AO about bubble. Actually, I wonder if Dante's dirty because of boss. I think Dante's dirty because of boss. Ah, uh, now I think about it. <laughs> I don't know. They did. They, they were old friends, so maybe they. Maybe he's always been like that. It's, it, I'm guessing it's a question we'll never car be kind of reminds me of Date's car. Yeah? What's the deal with you and Date? You still into me? <laughs> what? She, was she into me? Well, she did ask us on a date. And we're only 12 years older than her. Or at least we were. Huh? That, uh, vibrate. Boss, you visited me a lot when I was in the hospital. You're softer than you look. What do you mean by that? Can you go into the, uh, the menu? Do I not radiate an aura of gentleness and caring? The menu? You literally yeah, called me a slave before. Yeah, go to case notes. Hold on, I need to see something. 
Okay, go to the persons. Give me the control. Is this gonna be updated? Um, oh, okay, so I thought, I thought he was older. So Saito, what, what, what? What? Oh, you got more mac and cheese. You didn't finish. I did not finish, no. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Okay, so I was wrong. Our original body is 12 years older. We were 30. So... So... We... Gained 12 years. Mm-hmm. In 30 seconds. Uh Actually, does that mean... Yeah, we're the same age as Boss now. Mm-hmm. Iris is 19, right? Yeah. Well, I think at this point, yes. But in the main game, she's 18. I think her birthday is... Oh no, it's October. Okay, so she wouldn't do it. I almost said leveled up. <laughs> um... Curious. You're 12. Level up, what'd you get? Arthritis. Older. Older. Now, Dante holds his chopstick. <laughs> Joy is emotionally attacking Dante. Why? No idea. Mm -hmm. Inspector. Huh? Inspector. Oh my god, I was looking for Inspector. I was like, did you say Inspect her? It's Kagami! Actually, really cute when he takes his mask off and he's single. <laughs> I'm fairly certain, uh, I don't know, this could be me looking into it too much, but I think this is a reference to Johnny from uh, Metal Gear Solid. He's a running gag character that's featured in every game, usually diarrheaing his guts out. You want his guts out? Diarrheaing his guts out. And then in the fourth Metal Gear Solid game, you find out that he's actually really handsome, and the reason that he's doing that is because of a conspiracy that's been going on behind the scenes. So yes, Hideo Kojima invented a reason for this guy constantly shitting. Kind of conspiracy theory? Yeah, so Metal Gear Solid 4, basically the events of that game, it takes place in the far-flung future of 2015. Uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, but basically, war has been taken over by uh, nanotechnology, and so all soldiers come equipped with nanotech that uh, um, does various things, like make their body stronger and also hooks up to weapons. So basically, your weapons can't be stolen off of you. They will only work for you. But those get hacked by the villain of that game, so he basically controls the entire military might of the world. Mm -hmm. um, Johnny is the only person in the entire world, uh, and only soldier in the world, that does not have nano machines within him. And so he's not, he, he has been violently reacting to the food that he's been eating because the nano machines have filtered out any, uh, let's say, like, you know how you go, if you go traveling and you eat the food there, you might get food poisoning because you're not used to eating it. Mm -hmm. Basically that. Johnny's been shitting his pants because he doesn't have the nano machines, and so he, he can't uh, process the food correctly. And nobody else even realizes what's going on. Also, yes, he takes off his mask and he's super handsome, and he ends up with one of the main girls from the game. <laughs> so, yeah. 
But I didn't treat you like a slave. You held me under your Other boots. Other than sometimes making you clean my boots with your tongue. You did? I absolutely did. Rip. Hey, boss, can I? No, it's my. Nobody ever sits in that chair. Boss does when we're not here. No, she does not. She sits on the desk. Keep going, there's still more to the left. Iris, would you like to have a Matroshka of your own? Oh, sorry. No, we're not allowed to have pets at the house. What? What do you think a Matroshka is? If you had the ability to stop time, what would you do? Hmm, what? I want to catch a skyfish! What? What? <laughs> she wants to catch a skyfish. Uh, uh... See, isn't this her chair? Yeah. Cheer me on, okay? Here I go. One, two, throw. I really hope this room in particular comes back for the second game and it has even more shit in it. I had no idea you guys. I hope she takes the happy birthday action here. Down. That's a ruler. Transferred alumnus gate expert. Really? Yeah. Iris, my best friend. Have I <laughs> Do you want anything? I'll buy you any. What are you plotting? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever throw that thing around at parks? It's not a frisbee. You could kill someone throwing that. I know I'm definitely wrong about this, but I kind of feel like... I don't know. What? Boss feels like somebody younger in, a, in an older woman's body. Oh, donuts I don't sound know, maybe good she's right just about now. One of those people, you know? Oh, me too! But I wouldn't... I don't know. The, the, the timeline doesn't match up, but I wouldn't. it wouldn't surprise me if we found out that... There was an accident with her as well, and she ended up in that body. Hey, but look at that bust! I, I don't like the, the timelines match up. Oh, that's my lipstick. <laughs> okay, are we gonna get Merry Christmas again? You still haven't taken down your Christmas tree. Haven't you heard the old saying? If you take down your Christmas tree early, you won't become a bride until. That's not an old saying. That is. Aww. Kurunushi. Poor Grandpa Ku <laughs> It's still a question. <laughs> Can I wear that? Don't do it! If you get your blood on it, you'll turn into a vampire. Farther to the right? Mm -mm. No? I 
think you've gotten everything in this room. Then. Hooray! All right. Achoo! There was something green. Hmm? Right as you sneezed. <laughs> Can I see the controller? You go wash up. <laughs> what was it? It was probably just the mannequin. Did I get the easel? Ah. Always miss that. All right, with that, I think that's everything. Okay. Also, yes, the Matryoshka doll. The first time you're in here, if you click on that, it actually uh, foreshadows the uh, the end of the game. Oh, really? What did it say? Uh, I don't remember. I guess you're gonna have to play again to find out. I want blood. I want blood. All right. You look like you were enjoying your ice cream. So I guess it's my turn to enjoy your ice cream. Mm -mm. Why are you asking? You see me every day. You have a bigger bowl. <laughs> are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Prom. Oh, I want to show you this. What do you get? To... Still thinking about her, huh? No. Well, doesn't surprise me. Tessa should have got a bigger what? Uh, a figure. Oh. It's a reference to the, col the collector's edition of the second game. You get a PVC figure of Iba. <laughs> you two were great partners. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our... F I look like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Second command confirmed. I understand. You're underestimating the Wadjet system. Huh? Iba was no ordinary. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul. Boss, I gotta ask, why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed- I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in food, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be- So? I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under- So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Close your eyes. Nope. Don't worry, it's just some knockout. <laughs> You're going to experience something in That's my present to you. Oh, oh no, BDSM. Um, boss, should I not have come here? 
This is the sink room. Pewter? Don't worry, she's with the boss. Am I not a... Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Yes, I w I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equal... Then how are you here? Hmm. Don't act dumb. Dante, it's okay! She did. She told us not to t Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Hey, what's your name? I heard. Plasma must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your old face like that. But it looks like it worked at least. Was it, uh, Kaniza? It's Kaga! Kaniza, where did you even get that? Only the first two, literally two thirds of the name is. Seeming, uh, you seem annoyed by that. I did not, but I did use the sink chip for what? Something. Everything that the boss did. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you. That's why she kept silent about what happens. Huh? You were once in a... If your secret ever got out, you're... But the boss protected you. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she... Anyway, now that this... I'll excuse myself. Eyeball, can you talk to me? Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabuki. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Play. Shovel Forge. Did I get a new eye? No, it's time for Shovel Forge. Aww. wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a... And a new smartphone. And that's what she said. <laughs> I'm so glad you could speak, Mizuki. Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Of course you don't know, because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any- oh. That's what she said. She's our daughter! Ah! And if we marry your mom, she's your sister. <laughs> Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. And my- I inherited daddy's stock at Lemniscate. This is my company now. Isn't it not? <laughs> that's what she said. My company now. Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so... No, that's not... I made the eggs over easy, and then... How can I eat eggs like that? <laughs> I want my eggs over well. Burn to the pan on the bottom and chewy... Why don't you just eat an you eraser? Are an eraser would taste you are... Than you, sir. That's so gross. <laughs> Uh, burned on the t bottom and chewy on top? You, you shouldn't monster. say that about Mizuki's cooking. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you- Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. No, I didn't. That never you happened. You were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. 
Was I not? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> huh? What was that memory? Anyway, oh, hey. Yeah. Just up already? So there is. Oh, yeah, definitely. If Dante uh, keeps his promise, I will. In this timeline and a bit in the last, the, the Annihilation, uh, it's implied that Date's ac accessing the morphogenetic field from the Zero Escape games. Mm -hmm. So he's able to access information that he normally wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. My promise! I didn't promise you shit! Promise? The stew? You said you would take me! Oh, that. Okay, fine. You promise? Promise. Ramen? Here. Ramen my face and your. Good. I'm glad you two are being face. civil again. Remember, she's 12. Anyway. Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you. See you at home. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, the receptionist. Is <laughs> that. You dress, I heard a voice say from deep in my heart. <laughs> the big-breasted receptionist. Uh, turn to the left. A plant. Uncle, look! It's a thyreocephalus orthodox- You too? How do you know this stuff? <laughs> hey! I think you missed his dialogue. He talks to you, I think, if you, uh, talked to him before, Mizuki. Mm hmm I love those tapio- That's Boba. <laughs> That's so fun. Alright, time to go home. Didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital? Yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. No, we don't. But Uncle really wanted to... I said no such thing. Come on, don't be... There are a lot of things you want to talk about. Come on, just do it. Uncle, you're so shocked. There's some particularly fun dialogue in this room if you want to click on some Who stuff. Who cares about that's what you came for? Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> you said the same. Don't change. I caught you six years ago doing this. <laughs> uh. Remember six years ago when you put raw eggs in there and they ex- <laughs> I can't believe you were- Oh my god. What? <laughs> Iris. The microwave's not where eggs go. Are the flowers still bloom? Yes, they haven't withered at all. Maybe it's a miracle.
Introduction to Tax Evasion. And a helpful guidebook. I think that's everything. I mean, as long as you uh, sniff the shoebox. <laughs> I can continue. I'm not going to yeah, go. Go ahead. No, you already did it. It was like the first thing you did. Thank you. Oh, uh, the stereo as well. This is all thanks to you, Fal. No, I didn't do any. Also, uh... Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm great. Did you get the stereo all the way to the right? Are you thinking about how it looks like a dick? Uh, 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 yeah, you used to make that joke like old. Okay, well, we used to we we got to hear Iris say dick. Things have calmed down thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about shooting invading aliens. Or so. We talked about all sorts of things, sitting in our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. Did you hear? I can't ask her that. I was the one who did that to her. No! Stop! Look, I shot her three times. <laughs> If this is about my arm, don't worry about You tried to defend me. I know th You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take responsibility. Uh, Iris. No, let me t Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right, and we can go wherever we want. The th to the ocean, a rip barbecues, and we can make. I love this dynamic. There's that hot plate. Uh, <laughs> Hitomi and Date not being real oh, awkward around each other, but still very much in love. And then Iris in the background going, "Just fuck already!" And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating. That's dirty. you're planning on being covered in flour. Of course, that's why it's fun. <laughs> I was an assassin. Yeah. I should probably adopt my. I bring my adopted daughter here sometime, though, to meet the rest of the family. Mm -hmm. What the fuck am I meeting now? Is the where, polar bear. <laughs> this where uh, find out that I have a new eyeball that talks to me again. Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah. I'm gonna see my mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> today it was a lot of fun <laughs> it's the date finally <laughs> yeah i guess 
Ah, thank God, you. I didn't have to play Not Shuttle just for Forge. today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so... Will you close your eyes for me? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, oh, please. Wait. You want me to close my eyes? Do you... And just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh, man. Well, it's happening. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay. Oh. What? Boobs. <gasps> I'm gonna be amazed. <laughs> it's been a long time. Come on. At a time like this. I'm it was not a maze, it was us! You, you are, uh, that is, uh, uh, who are you again? You haven't changed. You're still, you're still an idiot. What's going on? Allow me to explain. I, or everything that constitutes my I, disappeared completely three months, including all of my backup. However, Fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around by downloading and decoding these fragments. I was able to regenerate. It was the Wadget system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Wadget is like a mother to me, and she protected me. And I am forever grateful to my mom. Never underestimate the power of Wadget. You idiot! I thought you died! I was worried about you! Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct- Anyway, I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. Oh, sorry. I hear everything Iva says over this earpiece. I think I understand the meaning behind her number. What does it mean? Iris, do not tell him. Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? A, B, C. And the first? A. And the 20th? Dante. And. <laughs> to be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented reality virtual projection. My physical self. In my left eye? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Pewter, you bastard. Everything that the boss did, she... At Abyss, when I lost conscience. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eyesight. I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Yeah. But it's not. Huh? Anyway, um, Iba. Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number. A what? Hit ah. it! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck my stomach. I gotta go to the restroom. I can't pause this. I know. I've seen it. You have? Mm -hmm. No, this is different. Teacups that are flying, on maps mystifying. You'll think that I'm hiding. This old tale of mine. A journey through time. A permanent Frost on the pyre, fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes, no, you've seen in your eyes. While the old father has, while the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine, the eye clouds by design. But we know in our soul the one hope, the one truth. What if we believe we can? We can make miracles. Even with the devils of time against you, never let the fire fade. Rainbow sets sail through the night sky to embrace you. Rainbow.
So wait, you're gonna have your wife here. Like, Thank you. To the forehead, my kick like a warhead. You're pinned on the floor. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I'll show all you right. all. I don't wanna hide it. That's what I decided. I can't live divided. I know I was wrong. I love you, mom. While they all lose their way and forget about faith. While the rain turns to ice, their hearts like lock like, like a box. But we know. Oh my god, the power of dance healed Hitobi's arm! I think that would have been a step too far. The driver, the, the taxi driver, is like, I don't even know you people. Keep getting what? <laughs> you say it out loud for me. <laughs> I can't understand you. Come stage. You keep getting what? Come stage. Come stage. 